it's for us tonight. Hey, Amber. Hey there, Rob. Take a look at that system is slowly pushing its way toward the Southland. You can see we do have a cell just off to the west of Chatsworth. In about half an hour, Chatsworth will be hit with some steady rainfall more than an hour in Encino and then almost two hours until it reaches downtown LA and just over two hours for locking out of Flint Ridge. Currently, temperatures are starting to take a tumble. High 40s for Pasadena right now, 51 for Van Nuys, 53 for downtown LA and mid 50s right now in Long Beach. In the next 24 hours, this system is expected to exit out of the area, so we could uh, possibly see partly cloudy skies by late in the afternoon, and then we will see just drier conditions as we head into Christmas Eve at night. I'll have more details on your holiday forecast and about that third storm system about to roll in the day after Christmas. Back to you. Okay, Amber, we just had dinner, but still sounds good. Say it again. Still so Can you say it? Tamales. 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 Everyone say tamales. 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 <laughs> it's not tamales. <laughs> Well, As it depends I, on who you ask. I'm going to work on the lingo a little. Yeah. It's okay. I'm getting there. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Let's talk about the weather. Yeah. Okay. The storm is inching closer. It okay. is about okay. to make its way over to the Southland in maybe an hour or two for downtown LA. Here's a look right now at Santa Monica. A lot of activity just to the north of us. This is the second storm in a series of three. The radar right now shows that we do have a large rain cell moving closer. It's in Moore Park, and as you can see when we zoom in, we will probably see this system drop in to Agora Hills just less than an hour from now, more than an hour for Calabasas and more than an hour also for Winneka. This storm system will be much more impressive than the one we saw yesterday. We could see up to an inch of rain for both LA and Ventura counties and up to three to five inches of snow at resort levels at 7,000 feet. So scattered showers overnight. This is the second storm system. We could see another one after Christmas. Right now though, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for downtown LA, 57 degrees, 55 for Riverside and 56 right now in Irvine. The future cast shows that we will see the widespread rain activity for both Ventura and LA County around 11 p.m. tonight and then really this the bulk of the rain will come down about 4 a.m. while everyone's sleeping and as you're waking up in the morning you will see more of the light rain and also some scattered showers mainly in Orange County and also in Riverside County and then the system will push farther south by about 10 or 11 in the morning and then really dissipate as we head into the late afternoon, making way for partly cloudy skies on Christmas Eve. Highs will still remain cooler than normal. Temperatures in the mid 60s for the valleys down to the LA Basin, low 60s for the coast and upper 50s for the Inland Empire. Here's your five day forecast. You could see AM showers expected, partly cloudy as we head into Christmas Day, and then we could see a third system rolling in. This one will be a colder system. We could even see some snow up in the mountains for the valleys and Inland Empire. Same thing, morning showers dry on Christmas Day, and then that third rain shower will arrive on Wednesday. And then by the end of the week, we will see partly cloudy conditions with much more sunshine. Robin, Susie, back to you. All right, Amber, thanks. It may be dry in some parts of Southern California right now, but rain is on the way. I'll have your forecast coming up. Thank you very much for that. Amber Lee is here now with some good news. No rain on Christmas Day. Right. No Love that. Love Day. that news. <laughs> but, but there the rain is rain. <laughs> it's actually working its way, inching its way closer mm -hmm. to the metro right now. Uh, we do have a lot of activity on the radar. Here's a live look at Long Beach right now. It may be the system is just to the north of us. It brought a lot of rain to the Bay Area earlier today. It has made its way to the Central Coast, and now the front part of this storm system has worked its way toward Ventura County. Take a look. We have a large rain cell sitting over Simi Valley, and in the next half hour, or a little bit more than half hour, Chatsworth will be hit with some steady rainfall, and in less than an hour, Winneka will also be hit with some steady rainfall. This system will be a wetter one, uh, will be a wet one compared to the one we saw yesterday. About an inch for both LA and Ventura County. Scattered shower hours um, possible overnight and we could even see three to five inches of snow at resort levels. Future cast you could see at 11 p.m. we start to see a little bit more of that widespread rain activity not only in the valleys but also by the foothills and overnight by about 4 a.m. we will see a lot of rain coming down um, as it heads down south toward Orange County and then by morning time at about 10 11. We'll see more of that rain shower activity in Orange County moving south towards San Diego County. And then by about 1 p.m. we will see partly sunny skies because the system is quick moving and it will be out of here by late morning. Almanac right now you can see we are running a little bit cooler than normal at about 65 degrees today. By tomorrow it's going to be about the same for the next few days because we are looking at another storm system the day after Christmas. Temperatures will be running well below where we should be this time of year. High 50s for San Bernardino, 60 for Riverside. Here's that forecast by tomorrow for Christmas Eve. It will be sunny for the 
latter part of the day and then dry for Christmas Day and we can get another bout of rain on Wednesday. This third storm system coming in. This one will actually be a lot colder, so that means we could see snow levels dropping down to about 5,500 feet for the mountains. So it may not be a white Christmas for some mountain communities, but we will have a white day after Christmas. Robin, Susie, back to you. Sounds good.